great ingredients served with flair. A perfect combination like you and pick and pay. Well, Liesl, that's a good point. You know, men, sometimes when it comes to the kitchen, not so good. I'm talking about myself, of course, but when it comes to a braai, I am brilliant. I am brilliant. And I'm joined in the kitchen this morning by the beautiful Jen Sue. Good morning. You're good gonna, morning. You're going to help me cook this morning. Absolutely. That's My fantastic. specialty. Your specialty. <laughs> Great. So, so what we are making this morning, we've been cooking with chicken this whole week, but because of the whole rugby vibe and everything going around, we decided we're going to make a braai, but obviously we can't braai outside because it's a little bit of bad weather. So we're going to simulate it in here and we're going to make a spatchcock chicken. Excellent. All right. Have you ever made a spatchcock chicken? Quite honestly, no. I have never made a spatchcock okay. chicken. Okay. I will also add, I will also confess something. <laughs> a spatchcock chicken. I have I have never made a spatchcock. I bought a spatchcock chicken before, but I've never made it myself. So there's a whole chicken. I'm going to show you how to do that now. But first of all, we need to make this marinade, right? So mm. I'm going to start with some olive oil, and I'm put four tablespoons of olive oil in there, just like so. There's one, two, three, and four. Just like so. And I can count, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then basically about two tablespoons of paprika, right? And that'll just make it nice. So I'm just gonna uh, guess my way in there, or not. Oof, that's a lot. You have to because it's gotta cover the whole chicken. Mm, so it's got a lot of oomph in it, you can there see. There we go, there we go. There right we go. to yo. So, nice. next up I need to make some lemon zest. Do you know what lemon zest is? You need to know that. Oh, uh, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> I'll make it. So this basically, that's it. So what you can do so long is you can just add some salt and pepper in there so long, if you don't mind. Because sure. this this is, you know, a tough job. So go for it. Thank that's you. nice. Too much. So one thing when it comes to cooking, you know, that I've learned is that you need to go by feel. Well, that's it. That's I mean, it, you know? Maybe we have to do a bit of a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be fine. It's smelling good already. Okay, so there's some lemon zest. I, I, luckily, I've got some in the bowl. They're not mm. everywhere else. Smells good. I told you. Yeah, I told you. Very good. good in the, now we need to juice this lemon. All right. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take out the pips in there. I don't want to. I don't want that on the, on the chicken. Right. Just like so. Got that. And there's another pip over there. All right. And here's our very fancy juicer. I'm coming to see what's going on. Oh, yay! Hi. Hi. Not my friend just left She's... without even saying hi to me. I didn't even know she was in the kitchen. <laughs> I just want to say, men can bry. That's it. Men make incredible briars, and I might be wrong by saying men can't cook because I actually have a lot no, of guy friends. No, it's true. Men, men can yeah. cook. Men, my neighbor Richard cook. cooks incredibly well, so um, I'm going to hint now that he makes me this for the weekend. That's you it. can cook for me anytime. So, 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 can I cook for you anytime? And he makes incredible pancakes. Yeah. That's it. But I, make also it as said a earlier, I can't remember, Jen. I spend a lot of time with you. I've been to your home quite yes. often. You've never cooked for me. No, and there's a reason for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's why you're still alive today. <laughs> Yeah. We saw you on top billing cooking on oh, your ass. That wasn't easy. We did about right. 900 retakes. She lies. She makes incredible Thai food. Come on. Yeah, she okay. does. Yeah, she okay. does. Okay. I'm very glad. I wanted to say earlier, you know, when you walked in here, I had the feeling that you came to check on me, but I then you were so nice. Ever so check on thank you. you very much. I've heard the rumors about the brides. I've hinted to you to invite me over for a bri. It hasn't happened yet. It didn't happen September yet. September no. 24th is National Friday. Yes. So we still have time. We still, we have, still time. have time. Keep cooking. You can invite keep, us. Keep yes. cooking. Maybe we can get Jan Bry to come and bry for it. us at your house and you don't even have to bry. Exactly. I so, actually have a funny story about Jan Bry. What are you doing first? Right and now, I, tell you the story. I am trying to remove the backbone. This is something I've never done before, but wow. it seems to be going well. It, it's a quite a process because it's strong. You know, mm. you, this chicken is very this strong. It's a special scissors. It it's a, a very special. strong scissors. You need to make sure that you're very strong. Very scissors. You know, you can't use your normal kitchen scissors. Because but I know if you go into pick and pay, you can actually get your chicken done like this for you. So you, you don't have you to can. struggle at home. If you don't I'm have a human there. at home, go to your parents <laughs> pick and pay and uh, get them to do your chicken for you like this. Yes, sir. And obviously you need to make sure that your scissors are sharp, mm. not like you know, these ones, but they, they're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that. There Perfect. Okay, I have done it. That is the backbone. We'll just put it down there for now. Mm -hmm. So here's what we need to do. First of all, all right, I'm going to have to spatchcock this. So, spatchcock. Go. Mm. There we go. Oh, Check that's, it out. That's, that's how you do it. This is why you and I weren't asked to do this, because we have no muscle. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm working up quite a sweat here, but okay, so now, very, very easy, okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken back in the bowl here, and I'm just going to pour it out, this lovely marinade we've made. So, Jean, why don't you start on the, the salad there so long? Okay, 
Okay. I think I'm supposed to start on the salad. You dressing. start on the salad. That's I'm just going to keep you guys company while you're here. That's it. Do you know how to make salad dressing? I believe so. We're going to do our best. Okay. Now, I have to tell you a story about Heritage Day last year and Bri Day last year. Jan Bri, who's the man behind Heritage Bri Day, decides to go to Brian Havana's house for a Bri. Okay. And he invites himself over to Brian's house. And he says, don't worry, Brian. We'll sort out everything. We'll bring the Bri wood. We'll bring everything. Young Bri arrived at Brian Havana's house here in Cape Town with two big bucky loads full of wood. No way. And proceeded oh my to unpack all this wood in Brian's driveway and then they left. Wow. No way. Really? And Brian said he didn't know what to do with all this wood. Oh my goodness. Did well, we bring it over to my place. <laughs> We were actually having yeah. dinner together when he was telling us yes, the story. I don't yes, know if you remember that's that. That's right, we were. And I just, I, whenever I think of National Bri Day, I just think of all that Bri wood that's now stuck at Brian Havana's house. And <laughs> how much Brian are you going to do? Well, it was like we can go two and get some of it. bucky loads full. So I think Brian, <laughs> oh, he's already left for New Zealand. He left, so he's on the plane. He's on the plane. He's he on can the come plane. and collect the wood from your house. Exactly. By so, the way, the uh, salad dressing has mustard, mm -hmm. Some olive oil, uh, about twice as much as the mustard, and also balsamic vinaigrette. Nice. Okay. Jen! Jeez, you, you see she can make a mean salad dressing. You're racing. inspiring me. I'm inspiring you. I'm glad I'm inspiring you this morning. And then I'm going to get the rockets. Ready okay, well. we're going to have to rush this, guys. Okay, yeah. so what I've, what I've done here so far, I've put the chicken in, I'm simulating a braai. So once I've like just like made it nice and crispy on both sides, mm. I will put it into the into the oven there. Diesel, if you can run to the oven and get out that other chicken so long. Oh, look at that. It's coming nicely. It's coming very nicely. There you we go. Just don't want to burn Jen too. You pop that one onto this <laughs> tray. I'll put that one back into the oven. Right. So that one has been baking in the in the uh, oven. Do you want to put this one in the oven? No, that one is done. Oh, but do you want to want to put that one in the oven? This one can stay because we'll we'll eat it later. We'll feed everyone standing around here. I mean, we often get emails from people asking what happens to the food Ooh. after the steak. Bring me that plate. No, we're garnishing uh, it. We're we having eat it, it yes. straight afterwards. Absolutely. Okay, That's pop it. it onto the tray. I'm getting there. Getting there. You and I can buy, but and you can come buy in a hot Ha ha. In almost it's September. This is national braai month. We are going to learn how to make it every week to make it different. The next week is my beer, I think. The next week is your beer, yes. Yes. And I make a good beer. I think I'm going to make my beer inbring and finally make it four times. I think it's a good idea. Jen, your salad looks amazing. Thank you. Wow, so that is a perfect rugby braai meal. <laughs> Unbelievable. So go do that. The recipe, you can SMS braai to 33728 and uh, we will send you this recipe. And lovely. we're also going to be chatting to a lovely uh, gossip queen, Jen Sue, a little <laughs> later on to find out what's happening in the world of local and international celeb gossip. That's it. True. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. We'll see you right after this. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.